Hey everyone, Gratuitous here from itsgratuitous.com. On my website is where I teach you how to make professional beats with FL Studio, okay? In this video, I wanna to talk to you about should you purchase a trackball or should you use a mouse for music production? When we are watching these tutorials of very high-end studios, very often we see a trackball. And how it works is you just have a ball, you can take it out, and there's a laser in there, and this is your mouse. You have your scroll wheel to the side here, and then you have your four buttons. So this is like left click, right click. You can assign it in software if you want like this to be like middle click, or if you want this to be left click or whatever. Also, you can set it up if you hit two buttons at once, it can perform a different action. But what I wanna say is a mouse by far is way more natural feeling, it's faster, and just think of the word dexterity. If your hand is on the mouse, you can right click easy, you can move around, drag, but what happens over time, and you know, I'm still pretty young, from using a mouse so much, you know, I was always clicking, and um, it was just, you know, I was getting pain, and so that is where a trackball comes into play, because this is called an ergonomic mouse, which means, you know, if you're new to the word ergonomics, it's about working in comfort, right? You guys can also check out my podcast episode where I talked about a studio chair, when I upgraded to a studio chair, it, it, was, it was just so uh, amazing. It's an ergonomic chair, okay? So what I wanna say is I typically use a trackball for just really light duty stuff. For example, if I was browsing the internet, awesome for that. It's very light duty on my wrist, on my, you know, on everything. You're just kind of just moving around. Sometimes I even find I'm using two fingers so that it doesn't hurt my knuckle. Mixing. It works uh, good for mixing because typically you're just kind of going up and down. I usually find on this, if I have to right click and hold, it's really, really awkward. So if you are making beats where you, where you are using a MIDI keyboard and then you have to edit the notes, I find a trackball is very cumbersome. Like you can do the task and it's fine, but it's not the same feeling as a mouse. For example, if I was gonna be teaching an FL Studio course, I would make sure to use a mouse because it's just faster and I can keep up with what my mind is thinking. Like, you know, this allows me to get like the absolute best workflow. For example, if I was doing video editing where I'm always clicking, you know, it's hard on my knuckle and stuff. So I try to work smarter and I use a trackball for that. I will actually just leave the mouse to the side and then I would actually just use uh, the trackball. This trackball, it even comes with like a wrist guard and stuff like that if you want that stuff. But I will use this for the majority of my stuff because it's very light on my clicking and all that kind of stuff. But if I was doing something way more critical, then I would take the trackball away and I would make sure to use the mouse because this allows me to be way more accurate, way faster, and it just really feels like attached to your arm. This, while it is nice and you can enjoy your time on the computer, especially like if you're scrolling, like, you know, you can just kind of scroll like this and it's just very light on the hand, very gentle. Whereas even like scrolling was starting to kind of hurt like my knuckle as well. So in this video, again, I just wanted to recap about should you purchase a trackball or a mouse? A trackball is fine for very light duty stuff, you know, mixing, using plugins where you again, you're just kind of left click and moving around. Very, very nice workflow for that. For more kind of critical stuff where again, you're gonna be editing MIDI notes and you wanna be fast, a mouse, like nothing beats a mouse, all right? Uh, one thing I'll, I will say on a mouse, I'll, I will make a separate video about this, but in a mouse, I always like to have uh, this on a mouse so that when you are browsing the web, you can go forward and back quickly. Cause again, workflow is really important. The biggest thing is just comfort, right? You know, these mice, um, these mice can get super expensive nowadays with gaming. This one I got on sale. I think maybe it was around 35, 40 bucks I got on sale. So pretty fair price. Uh, I think regular it's like 70 or 80. It feels nice in the hand. Again, it has those two side buttons for the workflow. It has your left click, your right click, and the scroll. It also has this one little button here if you want to adjust your sensitivity of the mouse. But again, I'm not using this for gaming. Um, but when you are doing music production, having a gaming mouse is always nice because it's a little bit more sensitive. It's a higher quality mouse to be able to, you know, when you're editing your MIDI notes, right? That's pretty much the biggest difference is this just really feels attached to your hand when you edit your MIDI notes. Awesome experience. The trackball is just kind of to reduce repetitive motion uh, because again, as you start to get older, if you're always clicking, or even like uh, even like the actual position of your arm, like you can be hurting like your elbow, your shoulder, your back, all that stuff uh, if you're always using like a mouse. And so a trackball just kind of allows you to take a step back, 
kind of chill out a little bit more. And for that experience, it's awesome. And this one is the Kensington Expert Mouse uh, Trackball, okay? I've had a great experience with it. This is a great trackball, has good software. It allows you to set up different programs. For example, in FL Studio, I can get this button to do, let's say, um, middle click or something. And then in another program, this one could be like a keyboard shortcut. You can also change uh, if, you, if you like this way to go up, or if you like this way to go up, you know, like so you, you can reverse the the direction of your scroll. All that is within the software. So it's a really good experience. But like I'm saying, a mouse by far is just like a, a way. It's just a way better experience in terms of like actually being able to work faster. So for me, I find when I use a trackball, I'm talking faster than I can keep up with the trackball. So like the trackball kind of holds me back. When I use a mouse, it's like I can, it's just like a, a part of the workflow, if that makes sense. It's just way more natural. Okay, so I just wanted to make this video about should you purchase a trackball or a mouse for music production? Uh, because again, a lot of times you see it in the studio and you're like, oh, it looks so cool. A mouse by far the, um, is the better experience. A trackball is really useful uh, just to reduce strain on your uh, on your hand for the long term. Not just your hand, it's like your knuckles, your wrist, your elbow, your shoulder, your back, um, and it all comes down to sitting uh, properly as well, okay? So that's it for this video. If you guys would like to learn how to make professional beats with FL Studio, visit me over at itsgratuitous.com. You can also check the links in the description if you would like to purchase these products. They are affiliate links, which means I will make a commission uh, if you purchase, all right? So I hope you enjoy. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you on my website if you check it out, itsgratuitous.com. Are you looking for an easy way to learn how to actually make beats with FL Studio? Check out my FL Studio beginners book. Just go to itsgratuitous.com forward slash beginner.